How many students should be talking during instructions? Zero. Zero. And everyone, if you want to ask a question or if you want to ask a question or you guess what we're drawing, what do you do first? Raise your hand. Thank you. In the middle of your picture is a circle. I'm going to make it as round as possible. If it's not perfectly round, it's okay. But, oop. Did I finish my circle? No. So I left a little gap in the top. You go ahead, everyone draw a circle in the middle of your paper, but leave a gap at the top. And also, make sure that there's some space for us to draw something else at the top. Now, everyone, what letter did I just draw over here? Oh, yeah. hey. Hey. What I'm going to draw is what looks like a J coming out this side of the opening in my circle. J. But it's going to be upside down. Everybody, draw what looks like an upside down J. If you have any guesses, should we shout them out? No. Yeah. Uh, you gotta raise your hand first. Draw what looks like an upside down J. I am going to draw something on the end of my upside down J. I am going to draw what looks like an oval. Uh, no shouting out anything. If you've got a guess, you should raise your hand. Draw one oval with the raise your hand with another little oval inside of it. I can see why you think it's a shower. We should be looking up there. We're going to step back from that upside down J and we're going to focus on the circle. I am going to draw somewhere over here a wavy line that comes in towards the middle of the circle then comes back to the edge of the circle. Then I'm going to go towards the bottom, draw another wavy line that comes up, comes down, and stops again on the edge of the circle. I'm also going to do that over here. And then I'm going to draw what looks kind of like a circle, but with a squiggly line instead of a smooth line. Zoe, what did you want to say? Um, it kind of looks like we're making a like monster of the earth. <laughs> an earth monster? I never heard of that. And you got to raise here. you got to wait till I call you to say something. Raise it. It looks like we're drawing all. And oh, yeah, kind of. Yes, Jessa? Um, it looks like a mongoose character on the earth. It kind of does, doesn't it? And uh, yes, Joe. That looks like a manga character that has a manga character that like has scalp. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to draw a J that is laying on its back, comes out from under the bottom of this J. Try to make that noise. It's stuck. Look, that's squeaky. Whoever that is. Draw a J that looks like it's on its back, and then next to that J, draw what looks like a letter U coming out from. Behind it. it. Looks like Sawyer is ready. Thank you. Ari is ready. Oh, Ari, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Now, this might seem unusual, but what I want us to do is draw what looks like a square between that sideways J and the oval we drew here. Draw a square, and then after you've drawn that square, draw what looks like a super duper skinny rectangle attached to the side. Everybody, please look at the board again in three, two, one. Now, you can use your fingers, but try to figure out how long that square is that we drew right here. It's about this long. I'm going to use my fingers to kind of decide how long that line was. What I want to do is draw another line that's as long as this square, but it's going to be pointing up <coughs> towards the sky. After you draw that line that's pointing off to the side that is as long as this square, draw another one coming out from the bottom of that rectangle. After you've drawn those two slanted lines, you need to connect them with a line that goes up and down, a vertical line. What letter? I just drew right here. C. Now, I'm going to draw what looks like a C on the back of my upside down chair. How many of you agree with Mason? It looks like an Among Us character sitting on Earth reading a book. You are right. We are not finished yet. Next, how many of you know how to draw a star? Just by a show of hands. How many of you know how to draw a star? How many of you are still working on stars? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you the steps to draw a star. You don't have to do it this way, but here's one way you can do it. What upside down letter does this kind of look like? V. What letter does this kind of look like? A. A. It's like the letter A if it drew arms. <laughs> now, after you draw that A with arms, we are going to connect this arm with a foot on the opposite side. A seven and an A. Yeah, it does look like a seven and an A. Then I'm going to draw another line that connects this hand over here with the foot on the other side. Is that a star? Yeah. Yes. You can draw the letter A to connect each, each arm with a foot on the opposite side. You can make lots of stars around our planet.